Hello, Michael Swain here after Kansas basketball's 63-58 to win over TCU in Fort Worth. And that was a showing of a team that is now going to be odds-on favorites to claim at least a share of the Big 12 title for back-to-back -back seasons for the first time since the 2017 and 2018 conference seasons. And for the last few weeks, Bill Self has talked a lot about wanting his team to embrace making opponents play poorly. And I think this is starting to be a little bit more of a trend as of late where you're seeing that come on. And I think Monday night in Fort Worth was kind of the culmination of that where KU did not play its best. And Bill Self sometimes talks about splitting the season into kind of three categories. There are games where you play at your best and no one in the country is going to beat you. There are games that you're going to play okay and you're still going to win. And then there are games where you're not going to play well. And those are the games when you have to make your opponents play poorly if you're going to win. And I think that's exactly what you saw from KU on Monday night. You look at Jalen Wilson, wasn't at his best, doesn't score in double digits, finishes with seven points on three for 11 shooting. Grady Dick, Kevin McCuller kind of carried the Jayhawks offensively. Dwan Harris did get six points, meaning that the streak continues for him this year where he has scored four points or more. KU is undefeated. And then KJ Adams didn't have a great game. But again, this is a performance where you have to look at the other team. And TCU shot 30% from the field. They went 5 of 18 from threes. That's 27%. Really poor numbers, particularly when you compare it to the first matchup in Allen Fieldhouse when it seemed like TCU couldn't miss. And for me, the biggest area where you can look is at the rim, where TCU went 12 of 32 at the at the rim so that's on layups and k you went 16 to 35 so not great there either but then the glass tcu out rebounded ku in the first matchup and this time around ku out rebounded tcu 48 to 42 those are just some of the areas that i think show some of the grit and desire and wanting to make the opponent play poorly where maybe at past times this season, KU get out rebounded in this game, or they'd allow some easy baskets around the rim where they wouldn't contest and find ways to make the shot tougher, even without fouling. And KU still had some guys struggle with foul trouble and they're able to play through it. So overall, I think this is the performance of a team that can win a title and you saw it and you've seen flashes of it this season, but I think consistently now you're seeing a team that's going to win the big 12 title and, you know, you have to see in what happens in the NCAA tournament, but the Big 12 is where the goals start for Kansas every year. And it seems like they're in a really good position to do that now where KU plays at home against West Virginia on Saturday at home to Texas Tech on Tuesday. And then they go to Austin next weekend. In between that span, Texas has to play at Baylor on Saturday and then go to at TCU next week, midweek before playing KU. Baylor still play Iowa State. They play K-State on Tuesday, and they also play Texas. So the schedule shapes up nicely for Kansas to maybe potentially claim the title outright on senior night, if not getting a chance to do it in Austin in about 10 days' time. So overall, I think this is a really impressive performance from Kansas. Obviously, another you know, resume-building win. They should be competing and being in the conversation for the number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament. They have the most quad one victories in the country. And this is just another performance I think shows that resume that KU deserves to be in that conversation. So, of course, you got plenty of coverage for you at fog.net. We'll have everything Bill Self said. You got observations from Nathan Swaffer. So, make sure you're staying tuned there for all sorts of KU basketball coverage as we head down the stretch run of this 2023 conference season.